Hi there, welcome to No Nonsense Whiskey. My name's Vin PF, and on today's episode we're doing another Whiskey In Whiskey Out, this time for the month of December 2022. If you're new to this kind of content, I'm doing this at the end of every month or at the start of the next month covering the previous month, and I'm just going through the bottles that I got in that month and the bottles that I killed that month. Simply that is it. Tends to be around about four or five of each, each month, depending on how heavy we've been drinking or if we've been going out seeing some whiskey clubs or whatever. Today, for instance, we've got four in, three out. So strap in, let's go in, and we'll see what we've got for the whiskey in first. Reaching down here, and in no particular order, we've got the Somerton Club, and this is the uh, Oxford Rye Heritage Grains 2017 Harvest. Um, Somerton Club sent a bottle for uh, every two months for 50 quid. That's 50 quid every two months, and you never know what you're gonna get. Um, I'll reserve my reviews for this, because I think I'm gonna review this soon. But it's a rye whiskey, and if you know anything about my flavour profile whatsoever, not always a big fan of rye, but we'll get into that probably next week. Next up again, uh, another Somerton thing. Uh, we've got here a McMira Reserve. Now, um, what Somerton did with this, and I'll explain it properly again on the video, but they, they just got a hold of a whole heap of these things. Um, these are single cask McMiras that have been aged, and then uh, they've been bottled already so they're just sort of sitting around waiting to go and they got a really good deal these were 40 quid and you didn't know what you were going to get it was a lucky dip they called it so i got i can i'll hold this up and you can pause it if you want but um it is a smoky half liter 51 percent uh bottled in 2007 no sorry distilled in 2007 bottled in 2012 so it's just been sitting around for a decade which is interesting. It's got a couple of bits floating around in it, but we'll we'll worry about that when we get down to it. But yeah, in any case, um, bit of a bit of a bargain, I think. But I'll be recovering that. I don't know, sometime soon. There's there's no real urgency on that because you're not going to be able to buy it. So I'll, I'll cover it when I can be bothered, and we'll get around to it. Next one. Then this is an interesting one. So here we have a Black Mountain, and this is the yeah, they they're calling it Malt Spirit. Uh, I haven't gone into this. I mean, this is pure French, right? This is pure French. So I haven't gone into finding out exactly why, but I don't think it's aged for three years. But it's in a, an a, a limbic still uh, with Armagnac, an Armagnac limbic still, at least. But anyway, the reason why I have this today is because um, I got actually I got given this um, by the distillery, the the company Black Mountain. I went to see them when I went to go out to France, probably October last year, but um, I couldn't bring this back with me for multiple reasons, mainly hand luggage only, but it's now been delivered back to me through family. So um, I have this and I have another one. I've also got some footage of me when I went to visit them. So I'm gonna be compiling like a big video of that coming up in the near future. Um, I think it's really interesting what they're doing. That's what I'll say about that. But you know, we'll get more into that a bit later on. A very interesting whiskey that should be on your radar if you're in the European area. I don't think that you're gonna find it anywhere else outside of that, but especially if you're in France, limited view numbers that you are keep it on your radar okay lastly this is a really nice surprise um, i have here the tully barden the murray triple port cask finish um, nice box i'll probably get rid of it once i'm done with this review but you know standard bottle but this just turned up in the post one day um tully barden sent this to me as a, a kind of christmas present obviously you know you and i know you know i'm going to review it but don't worry about that because as you guys should know by now uh, I'm always very transparent about when I've been given a bottle and I've, uh, you know, dare I even have to say it, I've never asked for these bottles. Normally, I get an email well in advance saying, do you want to cover this? And I normally say yes. Very rarely does a bottle actually turn up without me even knowing it's coming. But um, even still, even though that they've just sent me this as like a, as a, a Christmas present, I'll still be very transparent and it will still say paid promotion at the top because when you get something for free, that's what you should be doing if you're another channel, whatever. That's what you should be doing by consumer laws. Very transparent. You know me, enough said. That's the whiskey in this month then. Um, you know, one thing you might know because it was December, I didn't get any bottles for Christmas this year. Um, so yeah, any of my family members watching this, have a word with yourself because where's my, where's my Christmas whiskies? Anyway, moving on, let's get on to the whiskey out this uh, this month. Um, quite light, I think, but you know, we are three bottles. First one then is the, this is the Scallywag, Douglas Lang. Right, so actually, while we're talking about this, I'd like to know what you guys think about this, because I've always said Lang, 
Uh, that's just something you know. I've, I've this word. I know it's sort of spelt slightly differently, but where I come from in the deep dark south of England, um, this word. Anyone who's got this surname says it Lang. But I've been told by many people that I should be saying Lane, as in L A N E Lane, which is weird. I'm not. I'm not into that. But yeah, let me know in the comments below. Let's have a little argument about it and see who says it should be Lang and who says it should be Lane. Let's go for it. But I'm going to carry on saying whatever I want, basically, because I know that that's right for me, even if they might say Lane. Anyway, Douglas Lang don't care what I say. <laughs> this is the Space Eye Blended Mark. This was last year's special. Um, it took me a year to kill this off, but it's dead. Then we've got another something, very Summerton heavy this month. Another Summerton release. This was their first independent bottling um, of their own. They've had some releases under their label before. They've had some releases where they've kind of gone to distilleries and bottled with their name on it. This was their first indie bottle and another McMira as well, of course. Um, interesting bottle. Uh, yeah, I, I mean, I, it was good. It was good. I enjoyed it, but um, I wasn't bothered about seeing it go either. So that's why I killed it. It wasn't. It wasn't like you know, quote unquote, special or anything like that. It was just really good drinking whiskey, and I, I, I'm sure Dan would appreciate me saying that because it was just good. That's all it was. You know. Last one then, and I think you remember me covering this. This was my last review before this year's one, uh, the uh, Lagavulin 11 Offerman Edition, Offerman Edition Charred Oak Cask. Um, I, uh, the way I got this, if you didn't catch my review, um, there's a guy in my whiskey club called Alex who um, lent me, let's say, he gave me the bottom of like three bottles. Uh, they were in my last whiskey in video for November, if you wanna go and check out which ones I got, but you'll be seeing them very soon anyway. Um, just a really nice way of helping me uh, do some more content. This is not a cheap channel to run. Getting four bottles of whiskey a month is 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 challenging. So if I can get them that way, I'm happy with that. Anyway, um, it was lovely. It was expensive and probably not worth the effort if you're not a fan of Nick Offerman or of uh, Parks and Rec or any of the other things that he's done. Um, if you're m merely a Lagavulin fan, then probably not worth the effort. But um, it was it was just fine. You know, if you like Lagavulin, you would like it. Very, it's expensive for what it is, I think. But yeah, um, I did say in my review this was going to be in next month's Whiskey In, Whiskey Out, and there it is. Boom. There you go. That's my Whiskey In, Whiskey Out for this month. I'll be back again in February for January's one, because I'm always like, you know, the first few days in the month, most likely. Uh, I'll be doing this all over again. But as always, for, especially for the Whiskey Ins, let me know which ones you want to see bumped up the queue. If you want to see them at all um, and very soon if you've been following me you'll probably know that in January I like to do my entire whiskey collection so keep an eye out for that because what I'll be wanting from you guys is to look at the the section of that where it's whiskies I haven't covered yet and I'll be wanting to know what you want to see but yeah make sure you keep an eye out for that video because it's usually one of my favorites to make and it's one of your favorites to watch as well but in any case I say thank you for watching Check out some of my reviews and hopefully I'll see you again on more No Nonsense Whiskey videos in the future. Cheers. Hi there, welcome to No Nonsense Whiskey. Put your teeth in.